Welcome to another episode of the Subnautica Below Zero series, and look, our little shrubs have finished growing, <laughs> which is apparently a good thing. I've got to do a little bit of inventory work. Uh, I'm also going to go back to the copper mining site. Um, I know that I've been there a lot recently, but there was one thing I wanted to do when I was there last, which I forgot. Which was to... Um, there was like a sealed box. So I wanted to check that out before. I moved on from that place. Oh. PDA. This was mean. Uh, on my application I mentioned that I had severe galeophobia. Which is, wait for it, fear of sharks. So imagine my surprise when I discovered the brute sharks here. There's a reason they don't call them gentle sharks. Anyway, my research outpost is half finished. I've scrapped my, I scraped my leg on a broken piece of coral. The blood drew the brute shark, and I couldn't build the rest fast enough. I used the air bladder to get to the surface. I dropped the builder tool inside the base. If anyone makes it down there, they can have it. Oh no! Where is the base you were building? Our base looks pretty cool at night. <laughs> Just kind of blends in with like the same kind of color lights and everything. All right, let's head inside. I, I gathered a lot of stuff. Welcome aboard I can't say I remember why I was gathering a bunch of stuff. Oh, I remember. I was trying to build a, uh, <laughs> a wall in here. I still don't know what to do with that upper part of the base. Come up with something, I'm sure. That guy... Yay! Got a little more strength. I would do it on that wall, but I don't think I can be bothered to uh, take all of that down. <laughs> oh, I forgot I grabbed this. This jumpsuit upgrade. I guess I can put that in the prawn before we head out. Oh, and I could probably drop the, um, the big thing in my inventory. The um, mobile vehicle bay thing. Let's put that up here somewhere. Bloop! Right there. Good enough for me. And then let's talk to the prawn. I'm pretty sure last series the prawn was called Patrick. But I'm not sure. There you go. So we've got a jump boost. Alright, I'm gonna head off and get that crate. Just because I've never seen one like it, so I want it. <laughs> Doing a bit of exploring on my way over. I'm <laughs> so many fish. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is that thing? What is that? Uh, hello? It looks a little mean. Like it's trying to attack things, but it's not doing very good. Hold, hold still. Come here. You are a fidgy little thing. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it's friendly. Okay. An intelligent and cur curious creature which hunts and forages below the waterline but returns to the surface to breathe. So it's good at hunting underwater but vulnerable on land. Where it is capable at best at a fast shuffle. Yeah, it's, it doesn't look like it's really built to be on land. Generally consumes small fish. Its diet may also include a ver various plant materials, side-facing eyes, unusual for a predator. Uh, these likely serve as defense warning systems. Purple tinted antenna on the head detect any movement of prey fish nearby. Shows no aggression towards humans and even curious if there is a chance of a meal. Ooh, let's see if we can get it to come and say hi. Where did it go? Not you guys. You! Hi! Aww. So cute! Oh! Thank you! Wow, you're all so friendly. I love it. Because I'm about to go places where it's not friendly. <laughs> it is you. Oh my god, was there a laser pointer fragment right there? There was. Open case. Okay, so let's get our laser cutter put on. Oh wow, a power cell. Thanks. I wonder if the last grapple is here? I can't remember where I saw the first one. 
but I would like the second. Alright, now that I've done that, I want to maybe head back to where the last pilot location was. I just, I don't feel like I've triggered any more of that particular storyline. I don't know if that and the Allen one are the same. I have a feeling that they are separate quest lines. But uh, I haven't I haven't really figured out where I'm supposed to go next with that one, so I'm gonna head over there and see if I've missed anything. Maybe explore a bit further past it. I hate that idea. <laughs> That's where I saw that really big something. It's out towards those fancy little thermal vents with stuff around it. Sad. Hello? There's a whole fish over there. I'm so scared. Okay. Let's see if we can scan any of this. Ready? Can we scan that thing? Tornado plates. Okay. Uh, it's in a mushroom. Cool. The rock puncher over there. Are those like the um like vent garden sort of things? Kinda don't look the same. Okay, I'll just eye jelly. I both really like it and absolutely hate it. Okay. They're very pretty. Except for the eye part. <laughs> I'm on a wall. It should go back to my truck. Also, I need to get rid of some of these beacons. Oh, we should look at the eye... creature. Herbivore. Eye jelly. The eye jelly resides in deep waters that and is made of three distinct body sections, tentacles, the main body, and the bell. At the end of the tentacles are covered in bioluminescent nodes, which attract prey. When the tentacles are touched, they emit a shock through specialized cells called those. Within these cells are venomous harpoon-like structures that trigger by touch. Eye jellies gently drift with little locomotion, though they can track movement with their large, singular eye. I hate that. <laughs> It was so normal up to that. Look at all those eyeballs. They make kind of a weird sound. The jellies. So there's like a mountain off that way. See maybe some of those rays. I'm gonna keep an eye on my uh, depth. Is that just a quartz thing? Yeah. That's just a, a quartz node for the frond to harvest. Oh, that's enough of that exploring. It gets really deep right there. It sure looks cool at night. It's over them. You gonna get it? No. Ooh, there's something else to scan. Right. First off, do we know this fish? I think we know the arrow, right? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, we've picked that up before. But this guy. Reaper's wine glass. Why? Would it be called that? It's a single-celled organism made of three parts. Ah, so like the cap can be consumed and then it'll slowly regrow the cat. We can't take anything from it though. 
What about this guy? E. Hello? I heard something. But I don't see anything. <laughs> Which is not ideal. So that doesn't look like it gets too deep way over there. It looks like more of these vent things. Oh yeah, that's quite the a big coral thing right here. Like there's a branch and then it goes up into a bunch of other branches. What is that? Okay. Last known pilot location is in this general direction. I think that's a big vent garden. I'm so scared. There's nothing here to protect the me. The vent garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Beautiful. That sound isn't beautiful, though. Alright, we'll read about that when we get back in the boat. Safety. It's a leviathan. Vent gardens are stationary leviathans that anchor itself to thermal vents and house aquatic floor inside its bell-shaped interior. It has six tentacles that it anchor to the sea floor around the vents. No. Oh. The hollow bell of the vent garden has a narrow opening large enough to accommodate human entry. The top of the bell has an opening that uh, continuously releases water to maintain constant internal pressure. Docile, nutrient-rich, rich, and Herber's fauna. I think we're supposed to try to go in it. Oh, I see its little, like, armies holding it into place. Can... Oh my god, I can. Eee! That's That's a squid shark, right? I think I know those. Okay. Spiral plant. Do we need something for that? One, two. Can we plant them? I wonder. Redwort. Too bad you guys don't provide air. Is that a squid? Squid shark? Or whatever those are called? I'm not seeing anything besides the spiral plants in here. That's worth uh, scanning at the very least. Seek fluid intake. Can we enter out the top? No. That's okay, that's where the main thing is. Okay, no. Panic run. To the sea truck. I lost the sea truck for a minute there. That wasn't ideal. Uh, contains a strong but lightweight fibrous material that is useful for insulation and pressure equalization. It lives in the vent gardens. In return, the mesh like fibers are plant filter of the plant filter out heavy metals from the vent emissions below. Neat. Fortunately, that buddy there is between us and where we were going. I'll look at the picture of the squid shark and see if that's the same. I don't think that's a squid shark. <laughs> is the under leviathan? We haven't found any mean leviathans yet. But I don't think that's a squid shark because it's got fine, like spines on its back. Oh man. Okay, you can have my thing while I scan you, okay? Not me, not me, not me, not me! <laughs> oh my god. Hold still, let me finish scanning you. Why can't I scan you anymore? Eee! I 
Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and eat and drink and... <gasps> I forgot a healing thing. I don't know if I could scan it without dying. <laughs> hey, buddy. You got a lot of teeth. Seventy percent. Well, he's kind of going away now. So there's that. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to get him scanned another time because I don't have health. <laughs> Was that that ship? Hope not. What you doing there, buddy? So we've got some of the smaller vent gardens going around here. That looks like sea monster. Oh, they're salvage. Wow, it's been so long since I've seen metal salvage. I forgot what it looked like. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just go ahead and grab this then. Always use some more titanium. Ooh. Scarf me. <laughs> Pretty sure everything is trying to kill me. This has clearly been here a bit. So there's only like the front half here? Or back half? Oh man, I can see how you're supposed to explore in here, but I feel like I'd kill myself. Alright, let's just Go in a little bit. Salvage, let's not right now. Sure, I'll take it. You can't get me in here, right? Oh my god, this is as long as it was before. <laughs> We're in. Ooh, oxygen. That was generous. Who is the uh, potion of cannon thing in this one? Can we just scoop, scoop, salvage, there we go, all right, sealed. Hopefully this one doesn't take a whole lot. Reactor rod, wow. Copper wire. Okay. This area looks potentially done. Are you back? Thanks, buddy. Alright, let's head up in here then. I might. I believe I've made one. Yes. Nope. <laughs> that way to the exit. Got another crate. Ooh, more air. Real generous with that. Okay. Got on some copper wire. Oh, I can scan this. Par parallel processing unit fragment. I don't know what that's for. Uh, let's stay down below for now, I guess. Battery. Let's get this guy opened. Lifetime later. Laser cutter. Oh no. Okay. I need air. Okay, this looks like an exit. So that I can find my truck and get some air. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hopefully we find like some food or water in here. 
Let's see. Oh, there's glass. Okay, so we need to find another route to that. Alright, we'll be back to you for air soon. So we went through that door. I'm gonna check this side real quick. Oh no, up and down and to the side. Oh, maybe this. Ha! <laughs> Convenient. Uh, let's see. No, locked. Do I need to repair? Maybe another route. Okay. Let's get this air. Up or down, up or down. Uh, I guess down. An old chair. Sealed door. What do we got here? Oh, another thing to scan. Okay. Another battery. Oh no, don't keep going down. There's a lot of sounds in the background that I don't appreciate. Okay, so this is an exit. I'm gonna go back in the way we just came out. Which was through here, I believe. I think so. Alright. Okay. All the batteries. And copper wire. I don't know why they have so much copper wire available. this ah a side route that we took a lot less to scan than I would have hoped another exit could be just missing what's to scan here <laughs> more food and water let's go ahead and eat some and drink all right since wishing it made it appear I'd also like a healing kit please oh PDA I know somewhere there was a vent that I didn't go up. Ah, maybe it was here? Okay. Here. This is a long vent. Sure, thanks. Another PDA. Ah! This is into the glass room. Once again, thank you for that. I have a sneaky hunch that I'm supposed to find the third part of that parallel something something. Here, but I haven't found it yet. Okay, so I need to... Yeah, I need to head up through this again. And pray I can get air in time. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Up. Oh thank god. Let's see what we've gotten. Now that might be it for this episode. I might have to look at it again in a minute. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks and tried to help Diana but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos. How to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face, and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set the picnic there and said I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part, though, drum roll. He can jailbreak fabricators. 
He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes. But the craziest part? He managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. So they've landed here, maybe? Or is it a different planet? Uh, I can only do repairs in spurts. That's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable, and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana. Orion's belt, thermocouplings, are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> but it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. Her face lights up, and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. <laughs> the way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> this is cute. And also, this game always has... They've gotten, like, really good voice actors for this... Uh, for Below Zero. Really enjoying that. All right. I think that's going to have to be where I end it for this episode. So they are talking about being on this planet. So I wonder what happened. Or when they were going around the ship, was it in the water? I don't imagine so. How did it get in the water? All the good questions. Also, don't like the ice worms. Pretty sure I've seen stuff about that from when it was like... People were just guessing what would be in the game. So I don't like that. Don't like that at all. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to have to go through this again because I'm sure I missed a ton problem with having to breathe and all of that and there looks like there's all kinds of entrances and stuff so hopefully I can get it figured out but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and until next time I hope you have a wonderful day